guys, welcome to episode 5 of Make It Happen. Uh, I'm thrilled that you guys are still into this, aka watching my life as it unfolds, as I make it happen here at On Your Feet. It's been a very fun week, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot going on in between shows, which is why we are here on the couch right now, because this is my couch, which I love, in my dressing room, which is where I take naps after any events that I have in between shows, and after eating dinner, um, this is just where I come to get the energy for show number two. And this is my furry blanket, which I absolutely adore, so I'll just be here enjoying this while you watch the episode. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are currently arriving at the Olympics, and by that I mean the Snack Olympics, which means we're at Waitress! Waitress! Very exciting, they're hosting the Snack Olympics between shows right now, it's a Wednesday. Thrilling. We're walking in. This is incredibly official. Okay, we're gonna try it on a regular. Okay. Okay. Sarah, just hang on a second. Molly is gonna take a video. It is currently between shows. I didn't do a good job. We're backstage at Waitress, having snacks and judging the Snack Olympics. It's really hard. It was a very tough competition, and I'm very excited about it. You're supposed to go gold, silver, and bronze. I'm just gonna go for what's delicious. Okay, so it's a very special day right now. We are doing a photo shoot with the next <laughs> Gloria Stefan. <laughs> we are here with Liz Ramos hey, and Hi. Carlos Gonzalez hey, doing a very special photo shoot for Ava Isabella. Say hi. Say hi, Broadway.com. She's saying hi. She's already a triple threat. It's not a huge deal, but look how cute this girl is. Born to be famous. The entire cast is the are the unofficial uh, aunts and uncles of Ava Isabella, so we're just visiting today. So there's a celebrity sighting right now. We have Sir <laughs> no Sergio Trujillo, our Tony nominated choreographer. Not a huge deal. How are you? I'm great. I miss you. I love you the really? most. I do. Yes, because you disappear because he has six million jobs, and She's which is fine. Very, very, very flirtatious. Very flirtatious. Girl. She's my favorite girl. It's very fun when we have him come by and stop by and say hello and surprise us. Gives us energy. Gives me energy. So I'm excited. I love you. She's a big flirt. <laughs> so is he. So we are between shows right now. Kind of exhausted. It was one of those matinees where uh, we all kind of could have easily been just taking a nap on stage. But we weren't. Instead, we were dancing. We are on our way to a photo shoot for Broadway for Black Lives Matter. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's great though, this is a good card. Say hi to Broadway.com and what you're doing and why you organize it and all that good stuff. Hi Broadway.com, my name is Christian Dante White and I've organized these pictures for Broadway for Black Lives Matter, recreating photos from the civil rights movement. Yes, no, <laughs> and I've got the cast of On Your Feet, I've got Color Purple, I've got my King. It's a great day, we're on 45th Street making it happen. Just look right beyond here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday night post-Broadway. We are experiencing a new phenomenon called wine in to-go cups. And yes. it's the classiest thing I've ever done in my life because we're also using straws. Don't try this at home, but it can be done. And you're welcome. We're making it happen before a Sunday matinee at Soul Cycle. It's a nice way to wake up the body before an earlier show. We have a show at 3 and currently 11 in the morning. Did you feel on up? <sighs> Sweaty. It was a great class. <laughs> and I'm ready to do another show. Broadway.com. We are switching it up because it's episode 5. These are the last four weeks that you are going to get an episode. So. I'm going to give you some variety. We're usually in my dressing room, and I usually answer all the questions on Tuesday nights after the show. So, I'm doing this on a night off. We're having a fireside chat. Kate Durgan asks, Can we get a dressing room playlist? You seem to have so much variety. Ooh, a dressing room playlist. Yes, is the answer. I can make an actual playlist, but it really fluctuates. So depending on the day, if it's a Saturday night versus a Wednesday matinee, those are two different vibes. Like Wednesday matinees, I'll be full on Disney. Like I love a sensible, the Hercules soundtrack, uh, 
You know, I, I'm a huge fan of that. I'm also a huge fan of Outkast and uh, Biggie and <laughs> Dr. Dre. I also do a lot of Juan Luis Guerra. Um, Niagara en Bicicleta is a great song. Lauren Hill, uh, TLC throwbacks, throwback jams. Glinda, is your name really Glinda? Glinda Perry's, I need to know this because that's amazing and I want to meet your parents. I make it happen by singing every day and working on increasing my range. Yes, Glinda, work on your range. That is something that every singer has to do because the more range you have, the more you can sing and the more jobs you're gonna get. Brianna asks, What's your favorite In the Heights song? I know it's hard. Mine are Piragua and Carnaval del Barrio. It's a tie between everything I know and No Me Diga. I think, no, between everything I know and 96,000. Brianna also asks, what was your experience like on the set of hiding compared to On Your Feet? Well, let's see. For hiding, I was shooting in Canada for months and it was amazing and it was also my first time on a movie set but movie sets are very different film sets are very different than than broadway anyway uh, mostly because they give you food on set which is nice <laughs> zuleika where zuleika asks what is your go-to song something that never gets old mine is don't stop believing that would be one of mine too i also really like walk this way by aerosmith and lose yourself by eminem i mean i'm gonna be cheesy and say uh um, somewhere over the rainbow because I was a huge fan of The Wizard of Oz as a kid. Max Martinez, I'm back in Costa Rica, missed the show, made this for you, I hope it makes your vlog. Max Martinez, I want to give you a shout out for being all the way in Costa Rica and drawing me in a cat suit. Like so. Diana asks, if the whole world were listening to you right now, what would you say? Talk less, smile more. Amy King, very important question, where is your robe from? Yes, my robe that I use backstage, I have two. I have one for the winter, which is like more like cushiony and delicious and cuddly, which is from Victoria's Secret. And then I have my summer one, which is like the little satin number that you guys see with like the little white flowers, which is from Anthropology. Brittany says, I make it happen by waking up every morning and listening to show tunes. That's amazing. I would say the best morning show tunes are Seize the Day from Newsies obviously. Don't rain on my parade. That's a pretty cliche choice. And La Vie Bohème, obviously. Um, so go Brittany. Brianna, another Brianna. I make it happen by returning to university in September after a three year absence. Brianna, work! You are killing it. I actually had to take a leave of absence um, from school also and I did go back to college and get my degree despite the fact that I was really not interested in doing that time-wise. But, um, but I did, and it's worth it. Those are all the questions. The fireside chat is officially over, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Broadway. So he was about to leave, but someone asked on Twitter what he carries in this backpack. My vote is onion rings and a Puerto Rican flag, but let's see what's really in there. <laughs> onion <laughs> rings. Go, open, open Okay, okay, right I will. Uh, gum. Gum, mint. Ooh, watermelon. It's like watermelon, a meal. Yeah. Yeah, you can take one. <laughs> yeah. Then here I have uh, connections and things and uh, some tack. What is that? The, for makeup. Makeup. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Sharpies. Sharpies for sign. I'm straight up going through your bag. And then mm -hmm. here I have shoes because today I had an, in an interview, so I have I need uh, shoes. Uh, A sensible and... loafer. Yeah. What is that? Loafer. That's and yes. then the, this shirt that in case music. music. Yeah. An umbrella. An umbrella, a cepillo. A cepillo, which is also known as a brush. Honey. And honey. Yeah. There you have it, folks. That's what actor carries in his Not backpack, which he always has. No, that was interesting. Yeah. I like the gum. <laughs> Last show of the week! Okay, so I didn't think I was gonna have coffee, but I totally am gonna have coffee. I don't know if you guys know this, but in our show, the band is actually the Miami Sound Machine. So we have the original members of the Miami Sound Machine in our band, which is so legit. Um, so we're gonna go down and have coffee with them because they're amazing. Show chick! People you know. We're making the grand descent down the stairs to go play with the band and get some coffee. Gentlemen! Buenos dias! Say hello to Broadway.com. Play. Talk to me about your life as a rock star. Oh, you know, 
rock star is a term you give me. Yes, well, that's because you're a rock star. You, I just when here to was serve the first, you. Tell me a tour story from being on tour with the real Gloria Stefan. A tour story? Let's talk about when Teddy ironed his shirt while it was on his body. <laughs> what? He was late for rehearsal. Uh -huh. He showed up to rehearsal Where with a you? big mark on his neck, and Gloria said, What is that, Teddy? Did you have a date last night? And he said, No, I was in a hurry a little bit, and uh, I had to iron my shirt, so uh, I ironed it. And, and, and she said, You mean you didn't take your shirt off to iron it? And he said, No, I was in a hurry, so I, so I ironed it. Well, I actually, you know, what really happened was that I, I was sleeping in somewhere in the band room, whatever, all crumpled up, and the shirt got really, really wrinkled. And I look in the mirror, and I, it's like time to go on. They're like I had a very like five minutes, so I'm looking around. There's an iron, and I'm like, and in the process, I did it work? Yeah, it worked. Inquiring minds, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, so you can iron a shirt while it's on your body, and it's just gonna look like a hickey. Yeah, and the next, the next week, I did it with a steamer, so I had a square. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm gonna have coffee and then we're gonna have an amazing show! Right? Bye. Oh, cheers! Cheers! Love it. Okay, so I do have a question. So all of you have to give me one word or a phrase. How did you make it happen on tour as Original Sound Machine with Gloria Stefan? Togetherness and family and hard work with the guys and the girls. But Boom. really spending the time together, bonding Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. George, how about you? George, you were Gloria's musical director, correct? Yeah. Still is. Still is. How do you make it happen, being a rock star? Wow, I didn't know I was. <laughs> and scene. That doesn't Cheers. help her. Thank you for watching episode five. This is me giving you a sample of how I use my phone to communicate when I'm on vocal rest. It's amazing. I highly recommend singers to do this. Anyway, yeah, nine times out of ten I am on vocal rest when I'm not either doing this vlog for Broadway.com or on stage. So, um, so I just discovered how to do that this week um, among all the things you guys just saw. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to tune in to next week's episode because there are some major things going down around here and you're going to want to see them. So thanks again. Bye.